Okay, welcome to Fun Cooking. First, you're going to need your ingredients. Tonic water, some salsa of any kind, a jug of normal water, and if you want to give it some zest, a little bit, a little bit of magnesium. Now, to start it out, make sure in your utensils you have a large skillet. Now we go and also make sure to have a large milky milky bowl to mix all of these delicious ingredients together. Now let's get the main ingredient. A fair good sized kitten will work just fine. All you have to do is make sure that when you're marinating the kitty, you get it in the bowl with all of the ingredients. Well, we have a pre-made marinade, so we'll just use that. Now, what you want to do next is make sure that the kitty goes into the nice cast iron. You want to pour in our pre-made marinade right in there. Now, take the new cat we have and put it in the pan. Okay, now that you have him fit in there with the plan on, we want to make sure that your oven has been preset. Now, open the oven and make sure it's at the right temperature. I think it works to use an extra kitchen. You can get those preferably in any pound. Less than good. Okay, now we have the cover on, so that's the um, steam that releases to cook the cat thoroughly. Open the oven and make sure it's at the precise temperature. I suggest using another cat, uh, one that's specifically bought for this reason. Um, make sure you don't overuse it too many times because the smell can get quite nasty and that is not good. Um, you can get them at any of your local pounds. They work just fine. So now we will put the brave cat into the oven that's been precisely temperatured with our other cat. Now, we put it on. And we wait. It should take about an hour to an hour and a half. <laughs> Gizmo Swiss Delish from it at the missing. Okay, welcome back to Cooking with Emily and Cat. Okay, here we have our whole spaghetti. Very rich and creamy meal consistent mostly of orange kittens. We just pull out this dear cast iron pan that we have topped to make sure the cat doesn't get out during the baking process. We made a marinade with um, simple ingredients. And now all we have to do is the last step, taking the cat out. Now remember, the cat will look black and charred. It's natural. It means you did the recipe right. Here we go. Put down the cutting board. This is what the perfect polioli chard should be. Poli sketty is a very easy meal. You can pre preparate just about any time. Now, we will go to make sure that we get the cat ready to be cut. This fine thing will feel nice. With fine food, it will do quite nicely. Now, we begin. Ready? Thank you. 